But the value of using Clifton Strengths for teams is unparalleled. I think one of the coolest parts of Clifton Strengths is you get to find out what it is that you naturally do best, but in a really powerful way, you also find out what your unique contribution is to the team. So when you think about team building activities, whether it's how do we go about getting stuff done, whether it's how do we go about winning others over, persuading others, influencing others. When we think about how as a team do we build relationships, both intra-team relationships and inter-personal relationships with teams across the organization, but then how do we also absorb, process, think through really challenging and complex decisions all of those things can be unlocked with the power of Clifton Strengths. And so Strengths gives a lens for teams to know what each person's filter is, but then to also play to each one of those filters and capitalize on overarching performance as you think about how you engage each other as a team. It creates this common language where you know, here's what I bring, here's what you bring. How can we leverage that to help us be a more um, effective, efficient, dynamic team? And when we know, when we have that, that rapid fire transmission of understanding and we have reference points of achiever, and we both quickly know what that word means and represents in terms of motivation, in terms of emotion, that's incredibly powerful. So all of a sudden, our confidence increases, both from the team leader perspective and the team member perspective. So there's a trust then that comes on the other side of the confidence level. Um, and now all of a sudden, everything is opened up. If we have the confidence in each other that we're speaking the same language and what's represented there is uniform, and we trust what's being said, that's a safe place. We are incredibly intact. We're not being preferential. We're actually all about performance. It's not politics. It's not a zero-sum game. Let's literally expand the opportunities to put you in a spot where you can be amazing. Once you know how it is that you go about doing what you do and how it is that the other people on your team go about doing what they do, you can then adapt your team dynamics in order to let both of those things thrive. So whenever I know how it is that I think, feel, and behave, and I know how you think, feel, and behave, we can leverage that to achieve success, whether it's as complementary partners within a larger team, or when we think about the larger team dynamics of what common goal we're trying to achieve together, and how can we do that both in a relationship context and in a business performance context.